It's time for a death battle! I was heavily requested to watch Bill Cipher versus Discord. A lot of you are aware that I am a massive Bill Cipher stan. Not just a Bill Cipher fan, but a Bill Cipher stan. So therefore, we are going to be going into this death battle right here. As you know, I have opinions. I always have op opinions. And I'll be honest with you, I could see this fight going either way. Uh, I will have my prediction, and I will have my uh, analysis. However, realistically, I, I thought about this a lot. Because as you know, I'm going to start doing my, my own analytical breakdowns before reacting to death battles. I feel like this is super close. Uh, I do feel like Discord has more destructive capabilities. Like, man could blow up universes and shit all the time. However, one thing that I think Discord does have is more weaknesses. So I'm gonna say that this goes to Bill Cipher, even though I do think Discord is more destructive for sure. Bill Cipher, the triangular terror from Gravity Falls. Whoa, whoa. Yes. Dude, I love Bill Cipher so much. Gord, the devilish draconic is from My Little Pony. The Discord, my I'm howling at the moon, sleeping in the middle of a summer afternoon. The, the righteous, the profound, and the profane. We oh, the why would you show the Homelander milk scene? Why would you do this? of warrior on death battle before but none as silly as these two apocalyptic goofballs he's whiz and i'm boomstick dude what first of all great choice for uh for a death battle right um uh, the fact that you put the two of these guys against each other such a sick choice two like fourth wall breaking interdimensional cretins that could destroy realities hells yeah baby and it's our job to analyze their weapons armor and skills to find out who would win a, a death, death battle, battle. All right, again, I, I'm standing by my take. I'm gonna say Bill Cipher. I really think they're gonna make Discord win though. I feel like they're gonna make Discord win just because he's more destructive. Deep within the forests of Central Oregon rests the rustic lumber town. Gravity balls, it's a known disease that a lot of old people have. That's why their ball sacks are so stringy and loose because of gravity balls. Gravity falls. But we have to rewatch, we have to watch the show together on stream. I haven't seen this in so long and it's so peak. Oh, hey, there's old man McGucket. And would you look at that? Mayor Buffumplefumpter, and who could forget that little Polish turd, Gideon Gleeful. But despite yeah. its looks, Gravity Falls is less Mayberry and more Twin Peaks. I've been studying what I call the unified theory of weirdness. What? Why is he here? I'm so confused. Weird. Much like gravity, weirdness acts as a force, warping space and attracting bizarre phenomena to certain areas. Like the Bermuda Triangle. Welcome, triangle. one and all, to Weird Mageddon. And yes, I do stand by the, Okay, dude, Bill Cipher's totally taking this one. Honestly, honestly. I'm waiting to see what feats they have for Discord, but dude, Bill Cipher can predict the- He knows the future. Man literally knows the future. He's a time god, right? He told, um, who was it? Stan? Don't worry, you're not gonna die now because you're gonna die of a heart attack at 92. Like, bro knows! Go or Denny's at 3 a.m. And Gravity Falls is one of those places. In fact, it's the largest weirdness magnet in the entire world. Yes. Rainbow vomiting gnomes, the fearsome multi bear, the dilapidated Dude, mystery shack. I and love Gravity Falls so much. It's such peak. Like, if you haven't seen Gravity Falls, give it a watch. It doesn't matter how old you are. It, it is so peak. Most terrifying of all, a trillion year old alien spoken of only in whispers. Yep. The foulest creature to Literal have. trillion years old, by the way. Blaspheme upon this beautiful land, Bill Cipher. <laughs> no, actually doesn't look so bad. Actually one of my favorite characters of all time. One of my favorite characters of all time, over a trillion years old. Dude, inspired the eye of Providence. <laughs> Has possessed George Washington. <laughs> Robbed by Sands in a Tumblr sexy man poll. Big fan of cryptocurrency, NFT, and AI art. I like his little hat. Don't be fooled by Bill's goofy demeanor. Underneath the deadpan one-liners lies the cold black heart of a genocidal madman. He's not genocidal. He wants the world to just be a, a place that's always happy. A party that never ends and an event that never dies. He wants a utopia. You just don't understand Bill Cipher. Man is peak. Literating his home dimension and killing everyone in it. Bill was on the run from the interdimensional authority. So he settled in the chaotic nightmare realm, turning it into his own personal kingdom. Dude, but the, just the, the art is so good. He quickly set his sights on an even bigger prize. 
our own universe. Unable to break through the dimensional barriers on his own, he spent millennia trying to trick poor, unsuspecting humans to open the front door. And if Bill escapes, all of reality is screwed. He is oh yeah, welcome one and all to Weird Begetton! Oh my god, he, he controls space, time, minds, dreams. He added this one statement where he made like a joke where he says, Oh, you want me to suck all the air out of the atmosphere? Being made of pure energy, able to craft a physical body out of nothing, and then change that shape to grow to planetary scale. He controls physics. Physics bends to his whim. He can regenerate any part of himself, including his own spirit. Bill can move objects with his mind, duplicate himself, and see into the future. He can bring yep. inanimate objects to life. Dude, deals, shape-shifting, regeneration, telekinesis, location, clear voice, laser beam, pyrokinesis, electrokinesis, petrification, force fields, control over time, space, matter, and gravity, phasing, soul manipulation, quantum uncertainty, reality warping. And control your dreams like Freddy Krueger. But Bill isn't just some magician. He can warp reality as much as he pleases. Dude, I love Bill Cipher so much. He's easily one of the greatest villains in all of fiction. He controls space, matter, gravity, time, and can even mess with the fourth wall though he's most known for his control over hey you want a head that's always screaming instantly just materializes a head that's always screaming souls he can see and interact with normally invisible spirits blow holes through them and even eradicate them from existence and should an unwitting pawn make a deal with the dream demon he can possess their bodies which <laughs> pain is hilarious been good to know when i started talking to him Oh, damn. <laughs> Finally, I've been watching you two boobs for a while. The pure <laughs> boobs. It's the dollar bill. Anything made in my image, I can see through. I see everything. <laughs> oh, my God. He broke the fourth wall. They do a really good job on death battles, honestly. They deserve some more credit. Sometimes they get some info wrong and maybe they're a little biased, but they're just great entertainment value, honestly. Yay, new co host. <laughs> Oh, why does my jaw hurt? Well, it wasn't long before Bill came upon Gravity Falls and the Pines family. I wonder they if he's actually going to talk about the how he infiltrated our dimension. According to the canon, he in he joined our dimension. The brilliant scientist Stanford Pines, who spent decades traveling the multiverse to find a way to defeat Bill for good after almost accidentally unleashing him in the first place. Turns out it would be his niece and nephew, twins Mabel and Dipper Pines, who would end up being Bill's greatest enemies. Hard to believe, perhaps. Especially when Bill finally managed to, ah, oh, jeez, his way through the walls of our cosmos and enter Gravity Falls, yeah, reaching dude, his full that power. That was insane. That finale, the Weird Mageddon three-episode finale of Gravity Falls just introduced one of the most horrifying villains of all time. Someone who's not even evil, just pure chaos. And kicking off, Weird, Weird Mageddon! Mageddon! We've got hench maniacs on the loose. Madness bubble. Destroyed his home universe. Conquered the exi the nightmare realm. Imperialed existence via dimensional rift. Started Weirmageddon. Changed Gravity Falls theme song. Created the Mabelland pocket dimension. Outsmarted everybody. Defeated Stan- all oh, these guys. Bulls flying every which way making things go all kinds of crazy. And a weirdness wave threatening to warp all of reality. And not just our universe. Without the nightmare- <laughs> Oh my god, dude. Crimes. Omnicide. Parasite. Stalking. Kidnapping. user unlawful imprisonment, malefic abuse of power, mass destruction, corruption, sabotage, terrorism, mass torture, crimes against humanity, mass arson, treason, coercion, mutilation, turns a man to coffee into decaf. Oh my god! Our realm holding him back. Given enough time, Bill's power threatened the multiverse. And given his control- It threatened the multiverse, including our universe. I feel like that's a piece of canon that I really want to see them include. The fact that even after they sealed away Bill Cipher in, um, in Gravity Falls, he found a way back and escaped into our canonical universe. I don't know if you are familiar with the whole axolotl shtick, but he's actually- back in our world time and space bill can move as fast as he damn well pleases especially when his mind can view an infinite kaleidoscope of possibilities all at once as bill says himself he exists in a state of quantum uncertainty with yeah he is both in reality and not reality what one of his incredible feats are the fact that he'll never actually be defeated is because you can't defeat something that doesn't exist and he both exists and doesn't exist at the same time help right similar to erwin schrodinger's hypothetical cat hates at once perpetually unresolved 
Everything he is, he is also not. So he has yep. one great weakness, unicorn hair. Yes, actually, what are, what are the odds? Similar to garlic or silver, you No! They're not gonna use that in the My Little Pony. I didn't even consider something like that. They're gonna make Discord have unicorn hair. Dude, that's a gimmicky way to lose, honestly. Unicorn hair serves as a key ingredient to barriers that can block otherworldly beings like Bill, which can also drain them of their power. While unicorn hair barriers did prevent Bill from breaking into the Shaktron, they failed to nullify his magic. His actual greatest weakness is his unbelievable ego. His complete and utter disdain for humanity yeah. ultimately proved to be the opening the Pines needed. Tricked into entering the mind of Ford scumbag brother Stanley just as it was being erased, Bill invoked the Almighty- What a crazy ending, honestly. Literally one of the craziest endings in all of- fiction that they had to erase one of the characters minds and him in it yet he still didn't stay gone the axolotl in a desperate bid to survive bill's prayers were answered but in a way he never expected he would be reincarnated in another form and another time where exactly no one knows here bro that was the whole statue thing in only hope that this equilateral enemy of all that's holy and decent is never coming back what? They didn't mention that? Oh my god, I'm so mad. Maybe I'm just taking- Maybe that's a theory and not actually established, but he's here. Like, that's the gimmick, that he escaped into this world. By the rampaging spirit of disharmony, whose only goal was to spread chaos and unhappiness throughout the land. Until the twin princesses of the sun and moon, Celestia and Luna, used the all-powerful elements of harmony to turn him to stone. Kicking the can down the road, yep. I see. Lots of luck. That's rough. Yes, because as with seemingly and all- And he never that, comes back and everyone's happy ever after. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Magical prisons, it didn't last forever. Eventually, this being of madness and destruction broke free. Discord had returned. <laughs> and Chibi wants to date him. Listen, just because Chibi Doki thinks he's hot, it doesn't mean she's wrong. Now I know what you're thinking. Dear Lord, what in good God's name is that thing? Discord is a Draconicus, or- Age prehistoric, right? So, okay, he's millions of years old. Not a trillion, but he's old. Dragon horse, and also deer, goat, snake, lion, eagle, lizard, and a bat. All part of a complete balanced breakfast, despite looking like a- What? Bear. What are you eating, bro? Grab bag, he doesn't seem so bad. Kind of annoying, but in a lovable Mon Capitan kind of way. There's certainly some truth in that. While initially one of our pony's most potent foes... <laughs> so he thrives in discord and chaos, and Bill Cipher is chaotic. He is not a counterbalance to him. But here's the thing. I think Bill Cipher is even more chaotic than discord. And I think that will throw him out of whack instead. Discord is not inherently evil, just chaotic. A uh, big jolly jerk that sets fire to things that can't burn, just like me. It's not like you to find a lot of common ground with My Little Pony. I mean, you're usually like, the only good pony is the horse mate ma sandwich. That's disgusting. What the fuck is that random? What is that back and forth? Whiz, horse meat goes in burritos. But really, having a daughter changes a man. It softens your cold, hard edges. Kinda like with Discord, who became best buddies with the pony Fluttershy. Ah. And the gas pals with everyone else by default. Fluttershy is best yeah, pony. Random chaos god, friend of the main character, cause sure, why not? Discord is chaos incarnate and is empowered by causing as much pandemonium as possible. Likewise, if he betrays his true nature, it can cause his soul to weaken and possibly cause him to fade away entirely. If he stops, see, here's the thing. If he stops being chaotic or if someone is more chaotic than he is in his realm, he loses his existence. And I think that's, that's where Bill Cipher takes this. Personally. Personally. Not a problem when his powers allow him to mess stuff up as much as he likes. He's a full-on reality warper and plays with the laws of physics like they were silly buddy. Yeah, this dude has Toon Force too, to make it worse. Reality warping, matter manipulation, element control, power removal, telekinesis, duplication, dependentrification, interdimensional portal creation. Yeah, actually, I'm trying to think about it now, though, for a second. Does he have any time powers? Bill Cipher does, but I don't know if he does. Or can manipulate space by teleporting, reshaping his body, and transmuting matter. He can mess with your mind and erase your memories. He can control time and travel through well, it. Well, he can control time. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right, okay. And even Didn't remove remember. mathematical dimensions, turning objects 2D. He also has instant access to powerful items such as Grogar's Bewitching Bill, 
which can drain foes of their magic power and transfer it to others. Phasing, clones, possession, invisibility, the list goes on. Yeah, he Even basically has all the toon gimmicks, uh, which kind of makes him a perfect opponent for Bill Cipher. I wonder if going into different dimensions is gonna be an advantage for him or his downfall, because the moment he leaves his own dimension, Bill Cipher can go there. Move the sun and moon and rip apart the fabric of reality. And if his physical body is destroyed, he can keep going as a spirit. Honestly, it'd be quicker to list off all the things Discord can't do. Starting with, uh, yep, the end. He can do anything he can God think damn. of. Even obliterate the fourth wall. He's turned the page of the comic he's on. Dude, I want to see this death battle where Bill Cipher goes 3D, like gets a body, and then <laughs> Discord turns him back into 2D. Oh my god, I'm so curious as to how far they're gonna go with this. Directly to the reader, reference to everything from Bob Ross to- The way I see it, these two characters are so powerful, and the only way either one of them would take this is through gimmicks alone. Like, either his unicorn hair is somehow gonna come into play so that he can hold off Bill Cipher, or Bill Cipher is gonna be more chaotic than him and play into that weakness of his. Like, this is not a fair fight, however you, you want to do it. I, I'm so curious as to what they're gonna do, God damn it! Thing in Las Vegas, and even change the very genre of the story he's in. Oh, my boomstick sense is tingling! I've matured enough to appreciate the cupcakes and rainbows, Wiz, but there's no amount of character development that will ever make me ready for another Deadpool! Deadpool. God damn it! Oh, please. Any similarity is down to your life. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> Why do they always do these gimmicks? They just bring him into a character on the actual show. Oh, God. ...so refusing to greenlight complex animation. I should be just as insulted by your attempt to force me into dreary fisticuffs. But when it comes to my geometric rival, I'm not about to be upstaged. Well, I find it fascinating that you seem to draw energy from disharmony. I'd love to study how it played a part in freeing you from internal imprisonment and even in resubstantiating your very essence. If all you want is to experience- Chibi Doki out there literally shaking and convulsing right now. In substantiation. What the? Ah! God, no! No! <laughs> okay. Nice. Dude, I do like how far they go with the script writing, though. Honestly, good, good tribute. And not that type of tribute! I've never recovered. Able to rip the very fabric of reality. Brought Sombra back to life. Caused disharmony throughout Equestria. Flew interstellar distances fast enough to time travel. Oh, that's right! He, t he time traveled through speed. It's not like he actually has control of time. He's just so fast that he goes back in time, right? He went so fast, he went back in time by a week. So time travel, not time manipulation. I think Bill has that edge. Bill actually can manipulate time as a power. Whereas he could just go back in time because of speed. All right, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, just saying, just saying. Bring from that emotionally. I don't think anybody could. Oh, look, blissful ignorance at the bottom of this can. With Discord's powers, Pinkie Pie could have turned the entire universe into- <laughs> It could have solved everybody's- Wait, this is just a conversation between Discord and Bill Cypher. What? Oh, God damn, this is just a Twitter convo that's not going to amount to anything at all. What that meant for the laws of physics is anyone's guess. He's basically at the top of the pony power hierarchy. Even compared to the alternate reality threat, the Pony of Shadows, who could overrun all existence in the multiverse given enough time, or his ex-partner Cosmos, literally Malice Incarnate, with identical powers, whom he sealed away in the stars. Discord once flew yeah. from the horse head nebula. Oh, that's true, he does have, he has his sealing jutsu, so that might actually work against Bill. Oh god, this could really go either way. I just feel like however it ends up ending up, it won't be a fair fight like i can't see any way that any of them could just lose fairly just because basic power scaling doesn't work on these beings to equestria and kept accelerating so much he went backwards in time that was just him trying to make it to tea time with his bestie but discord's power may be his greatest weakness since almost nothing can threaten him his carefree attitude can leave him vulnerable to being caught off guard like when T-Rex, the magic devouring demon centaur, tricked Discord and stole his powers. God Even damn. still, Discord has shed his villainous past and been made an honorary hero, happy to help out his pony pals from time
time to time. Yay. Or occasionally make things worse. That's what you get when you're best friends with the spirit of chaos incarnate. This is like every time someone wants to collab with me. It's like, oh, Nux is a friend. We love him. We love collabing with him. He's so wholesome. He always makes things better. Except for the times that he makes things worse. I would know. Oh, buddy, get over here. Yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> ah, no, not the nuggie. Oh. Dude, why didn't they talk about his weaknesses? I, I feel like, did they just try to hype him up entirely? Does that mean they're not gonna use that? Let's see it. <laughs> it's just weird Mageddon here in Pony World. Boy. <laughs> Pasting all this bootleg merchandise together sure took a lot of glue. Good thing your friends make their own. Uh, friends of a friend. But there's an idea. They did so good with the voicing, with the personality. Princess Celestia. Today, Bill Cipher learned an important lesson about friendship. Ah, uh, yeah! Excited. I really don't know who's gonna win. What? <laughs> Bill's not laughing enough. I feel like if you really wanted to play into his personality more, he'd be vibing a lot more. Dude, that is so well done. Like, obviously, this attack is absolute garbage this is not gonna do anything to bill cypher man literally gets lasered through his heart and he's totally fine but still like that's a really goofy and kooky way whoever wrote this choreography did a great job enjoy your just dessert Let's pick it to you, I feel like they really mastered Discord's personality really well. Like, they're encapsulating it properly, but I feel like Bill's personality is not shining through here. Maybe it's just because I've overanalyzed this guy's character for multiple videos over the years that I feel this way, but dude. <laughs> Turned him into Dorito! Uh, a tad Euclidean for my taste. <laughs> <laughs> this is just insane, just zipping out of pocket dimensions and everything. Uh. <laughs> oh, it's gonna keep transcending different animation mediums. <laughs> Well done, honestly. Props to the team, dog. You did such a good job with this fight. <laughs> Tell John Luke his show is worse than Code of Honor. You are not qualified to work. Dude. What a scene! You know, he stretches his hand out this way and it comes into the other side. And then he does the same thing because they literally have the same gimmicks. For the fourth wall. Oh! This stalemate is getting dull. How about a different game? Sure, I love checkers. Go fish! <laughs> I love checkers. Throws a chess piece at him. Go fish! Oh my god, actual a peak peak fictional battles over here. <laughs> oh right, because if you kill him, he, he becomes a spirit and then he can possess you. Alright, sure, sure. You're messing with my mind? Oh, this is my stick, you hack! We may be evenly matched, Bill, but I've seen your show, my two-dimensional nuisance. And I know how you die. That you're safe in here, you low effort cloud. Oh, oh, oh. You think just because you know my reality, you've seen how I die? But he can literally see the future too. This is like, this is such a great fight. I'm literally having so much fun. Oh, seeing God. Surprise! You don't recognize 
your old home. No. No! Oh, pulled him into his own dimension. No. No! No, 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 no! Oh, oh Bill. <laughs> Unlike Bill Cipher, who's not free to travel dimensions all the time, he can. Wait, is this the end? No, I, I'm almost scared to play it. Bill Cipher wins, because he can actually kill Discord, but Discord could seal him away into some sort of transient pocket dimension for eternity. Ah, no big deal. I've done this once already. Oh, he looks at you. He's gonna use you to get out. Okay, I love that. Make a deal. Yo! Honestly, bro, I love you, man. I'm more chaotic than you are, Bill. I'll take you up on that deal. So Bill ended up winning, but he ended up tra trapped in some void. I feel like that is such a... That's a very appropriate ending. Really well. This might have been one of the best death battles I've seen, honestly. Actual, um... Actual hand and a half to you. Incredibly well done. Honestly, when have I become so wholesome? I used to be such a good hater. Hey and he that? says it. <laughs> sure, sure. Whenever they deal with these fourth wall breaking shenanigans, it's over. Line. Public service announcement. If a yellow triangle in a top hat offers you a Faustian bargain, please do not accept. He might be angry at us. This fight was almost dead even. They can both manipulate space and time to yep. such a degree that speed is essentially meaningless, and both at their peak could control their universes. Possibly even the multiverse. Sure, Discord yep. could potentially drain Bill's energy with the bewitching Bill, but remember the Shaktron? While the unicorn hair barrier stopped Bill from entering, its magic nullifying aura was not effective on him. If he wasn't drained of his power by extensive contact with that, it's unlikely the bell would do the same. Val so with two Valid. characters who can do basically anything, how would even kill each other? Both can restore their bodies from nothing, but only Bill has been shown regenerating damage to his spirit. Likewise, even in a weakened state, Bill has been able to manipulate and damage spirits himself. Which is hey, I see it. I didn't think that they were going to go that route, but I get it. I get it. He can destroy spirits, and therefore, even when Discord became a spirit, he was still not impervious to his attack. Extremely useful, considering we know fully erasing Discord will kill him. While Discord's trickery may frustrate Bill for a while. Whereas Bill literally cannot be erased from reality because he both exists and doesn't at the same time. His ability to see an infinite kaleidoscope and literally tell the future would let him cut through the tricks and vaporize him, body and soul. Now, it is worth remembering that Bill has been defeated before, when he was trapped in a mind that was being erased. And Discord had all the tools to replicate something like that. However, that scenario relied on Bill's tunnel vision on invading Ford Pine's mind specifically as well as his myopic underestimation yeah. of us lowly humans. Against other cosmic beings like Time Baby, he went for the kill immediately. For the record, Discord has yeah. been- Yeah, let's not forget, he literally killed Time Baby. He is the most based child murderer in the history of fiction. Anakin, sit down. Bill Cipher, literally the most based child murderer, and I will support him forever tricked in the past too. They both had their fair share of embarrassing moments, and they're both smarter than their mistakes at their best. The real difference is that Discord is consistently more carefree in his approach. He's used to being superior to those around him, and has been shown not to take threats seriously until it's too late. Like with Tirek, another crafty, manipulative schemer, kind of like Bill. With his trillion years of reality-destroying malevolence, Bill was able to take oh, yeah. advantage of Discord's I like it. Attitude. I liked it. I liked the result. I liked the logic. They did a good job. And get the opportunity to land a killing blow first. Discord was incredibly powerful, unpredictable, and fearsomely persistent. But Bill's powers and ruthless instincts gave him the edge he needed. Discord could try every angle, but Bill... Oh my god! <laughs> every time. Just had his eye on the prize. Let me out or I'll eat your dreams! Ah! Uh, the winner is Bill Cipher. Hey, uh dude that was a good job they did such a good job honestly really great fight all in all fantastic episode maybe their best death battle like subscribe and follow me on twitch stay weird fam